Hello there, this is Yana Smokula for W Plus 9 and thank you for joining me today. Of course, since I adore creating my own custom patterns using stamps, I couldn't resist stamping a few of these delicious images and forming different patterns. So to start working on this card, I'm going to begin by stamping a sentiment. This will direct my pattern and will tell me where I need to come in and fill the gaps. So the sentiment that I picked for this card, of, co of course, is all about lemons. And it says, when life gives you lemons, put them in your sweet tea. I've stamped this in Versafine Onyx Black ink, and I've placed it somewhat closer to the right hand side edge of my, pa uh, of my panel. And the panel is cut to four by five and a quarter inches. Next, I want to create the illusion of a lemon tree branches. And to do that, I need to stamp several branches for my card. I love to use this branch uh, stamp or image from the All Year Cheer stamp set to create branches of all sorts. The All Year Cheer is a fantastic set and it has a lot of different elements that can be used year round for many different seasons. And the branch is one of the main images that makes it so fantastic. I've used it in the past and I absolutely adore it. So here I'm using this branch and I'm stamping it in last leaf ink onto my panel and I'm stamping it four times. You can see that I've rotated my branch and I've stamped it. I have stamped it from the left and also from the right. And it looks like I used two different images when in fact I used the same one. Now to add leaves onto my uh, panel or pattern, I'm going to use this sort of like a leafy image from the Summer Citrus stamp set. This is actually the image that makes the crown of the pineapple. But here, because I'm stamping it without the pineapple, it looks like a beautiful leaf cluster. Now to make each of my branches appear different, to make them all look different, I'm going to sort of like mask or cover some of the branches with the leaves. So I've stamped the main, uh, the base layer for the leaves. And once again, I use the same last leaf color. And this image actually has a second layer, a detail layer. And I'm going to come in and stamp that using an Apple Teeny ink from W plus nine. I really love to combine these two inks, the last leaf and the Apple Teeny together. They make a nice uh, vibrant green color combo for uh, stamping. And already this looks like a fun pattern that consists of various branches that are framing my sentiment. Now I've also added a little additional image. I'm not exactly sure what this is, but this is just like two lines and a little dot at the end of each line. Now to complete this pattern, of course, I need to create some lemons. I already had two lemons uh, stamped and die cut from my previous um, card. So I have placed them onto my pattern. And now I know that I need to create a few additional lemons. So to do that, I'm going to use both the larger and the smaller lemon images from my stamp set. And I'm going to stamp them using the wild mango ink color from W plus nine. There is a second detail layer to these images and you can stamp that using a darker yellow ink or you can stamp that in black or you can stamp just the outline or just the detail image and maybe watercolor images. There's a lot of different ways you can use this stamp, uh, stamp set. I'm not going to do anything just for now. I'm actually going to pull out my dies and I'm going to cut out the images first. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because if you let the ink dry for a couple minutes for maybe 10 or 20 minutes, when you go to stamp the second detail layer, that second layer will be much more vibrant and there will be a, a greater difference between colors. And Dawn shared this in one of her recent videos. And this is a fantastic tip, especially when you're doing color layering images, when you're layering different colors, when you're stamping flowers, it's just one of those great tips, but it does require a little extra time. So one of the ways you can save that time is you can stamp the first image or the first layer, you can die cut the image, and then you can come back and stamp the second layer. So I die cut all of the images out in my platinum die cutting and embossing machine. It's sitting off camera. It's too big to fit in my camera frame. And once I have them cut, I'm going to add uh, some details. Now I'm not going to use the detail layer, but I will use the little mm, dot images instead. This stamp set has these little unique 
dot clusters that you can use for many different things. And I've used them for many different things. But here I'm going to use those dots to add little details to my lemons. So I'm stamping the details using the um, pumpkin spice in color. I really like uh, how the pumpkin spice looks on the wild mango color. It's there's a, a nice contrast. And once again, because I let the first layer of ink dry, the second layer, that pumpkin spice, now looks much more vibrant. Now my pattern, my background pattern, is still lacking a little bit of detail, but to be able to add that stamped detail, I need to add my lemons first. So I'm going to use my tape runner and foam adhesive, and I will foam mount my lemons or adhere my lemons in place. Now I'm trying to cluster my lemons in groups of two. I will have uh, individual lemons here and there, but I'm mainly just adhering two together. And, and in some cases, I'm adding uh, a double layer of adhesive just to pop them up above my card. I really like to create these um, dimensional patterns lately. This way, I don't have to do any masking. And, and also, my card has a little bit of dimension to it. So it's, it's nice and, and a little bit different. So the pattern is almost complete. And all I want to do now is add little tiny details. I'm going to use the same dotted cluster image that I used to add detail to my lemons. And I'm going to stamp this in um, Apple Teeny ink directly onto my background panel. I've switched to a smaller clear block just to make it easier for myself to stamp this image. And I'm just inking it up and stamping in several sections on my, on my panel, on my background adding little like messy detail. So this card is almost complete. All you have to do now is adhere it onto an A2 top folding card base. And I used oatmeal cardstock from WS9 to create a card base for this card. So this finishes my today's video. Thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to check out WS9 for more creative inspiration. I will see you next time. Bye.